Tonight, the acting Secretary of the Navy is sharing what concerns him most about the Navy today and his vision for the future. Yeah, Thomas Motley was in town and talked about the recent tragedies and hope for tomorrow. Then your side, Stephanie Harris has more on his visit tonight. Stephanie? Yeah, Mr. Molley came here as a guest speaker for the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce. Now, this is something that he agreed to do before he was named the Secretary of the Navy about a month ago, and he kept that appointment. But the speech, he says, was a much different one today than it would have been when he originally accepted the offer. Molley began with condolences for the sailors killed recently here at Little Creek Ford Story, as well as those in Pearl Harbor and Pensacola. Then he went into a David Letterman-esque top 10 list of things that would, would keep him up at night. He admits they aren't very funny, but very telling. This is uh, Tom Modley's top 10 things that if things kept me up at night, it would be these 10 things. At number 10, ships. Right now we have 290. The president's goal was 355, but we're having trouble getting there. Because of the cost of the ships that we have, an alignment on strategy, a national will to do it, but we need to have more ships. Number nine, speed. He says we need to get things done faster. Eight, information. It's critical to warfighters, and our data environment, he says, is complicated and unstructured. Number seven, cost. He pointed to shipbuilding as an example. The carrier itself, the USS Ford, which is our newest, uh, our newest aircraft carrier, which is being built, as many of you know, right across the, uh, across the bay here, um, is $13 billion for one ship. That's not including the cost of the air wing. Number six, audit. The Navy is going after its first full-scale financial audit. Number five, education. Modley says that will give us the competitive edge and announced they're creating a Naval Community College. We've actually been talking to some of the universities here in the Hampton Roads area to be part of that consortium in the Naval Community College to give our enlisted people an opportunity to earn degrees while they serve. Number four, adversaries, specifically China and Russia. Number three, warriors and healing within the special warfare community. At number two, time, our biggest constraint, he says. And the number one thing that would keep the Secretary of the Navy up at night, memories. Specifically, the collective memories of the country and what we do to shape them. Or is what we do now for the future of our national security that counts the most? Not just for ourselves, but most importantly for our children. And you can see Motley's entire speech on wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.